The same police say they had DNA evidence, but no one to match it with. Well, with the help from genealogy, police say they have cracked a 23-year-old cold case. Gabrielle Mays joins us live in the newsroom with what the victim's family thinks about this new development. Yeah, Ben, the victim's son says he feels a sense of closure. Now, in this case, police collected DNA evidence but always came up short with a match. That's because police say their suspect's DNA didn't exist in their database. So they decided to see if the suspect's related to someone whose DNA is already on file. That particular kind of result uh, has been long coming. Carl Fields says he'll never forget February 24th, 2000. I was devastated when I found out it was my mother. Fox 6 reported from the crime scene that day. A woman out walking her dog spotted the body under a tree about a block from Lake Michigan early Thursday afternoon. 23 years later, Racine police say they found the man responsible for 37-year-old Linda Fields' death. This is State of Wisconsin versus Lucas Asensio Alonzo. Police say they collected DNA evidence at the time and tested it over the years but never found a Match. Then in January of 2022, police decided the best way to find a match was to look for someone related to the suspect. Police say the DNA on file matched a relative's DNA in a database that linked 66-year-old Lucas Alonzo. When police say they found out Alonzo visited Racine last month, they caught up with him during a traffic stop. That's when police took a sample of Alonzo's DNA. Police say his DNA matched DNA evidence found at the crime scene. We have a lot of ideas about what technology is and what it can do and what science is. And so I figured at some point it would come to light. Alonzo appeared in a Racine County courtroom Wednesday with his attorney at his side. Mr. Asensio Alonzo has absolutely no criminal record. Field's son says he's happy his family has closure. I mean, forgiveness is something I've been walking with for some time. I've been able to get my life back because I've been able to forgive. Now, prosecutors say Alonzo and Fields got in a fight and he choked her because he got angry. Now, they go on to say that Alonzo walked away and thought Fields was alive. Alonzo's cash bond has been set at $1 million. He's expected to be back in court next Thursday. Ben? And no criminal history, which had allegedly made it so tough to find yep. him. All right, Gabby, thanks.